the wait is almost finally over. We only have 11 days left until the new season of Love During Lockup. And it looks like it's going to be a good season. So after this week's episode of Mama June, right afterwards they had a sneak peek of this season of Love During Lockup, which will be premiering on April 19th. And I've already done a video going through all the cast and the bio, so check that out if you ended up missing that. I made that a few weeks ago. But I want to talk about one of the couples that we saw in the sneak peek, and that is Tenny and Rob. So Tenny is a beautiful stay-at-home mom. She has two children. She's 33 years old, and she lives in Oklahoma. And she's currently dating Rob, who's 34. He's serving time in Oklahoma. Rob is at the tail end of an 18-year sentence that he's currently serving after he committed a robbery with a firearm. So Rob is in prison, and he has eyes in the sky at every corner. He's got guards watching him at all times, and he's got his girl Tenny going through the same thing at home. He has all these security cameras set up everywhere throughout her home. She said he has cameras everywhere except in the kids' rooms and in the bathroom, and I'm glad that she cleared that up because if he had cameras there, that would be extremely creepy. The cameras are two-way audio, so he can talk to her through the cameras all day, and she can talk back, and of course, he can watch her. She'll be sleeping in the middle of the night, and she'll wake up at 2 in the morning, and as soon as she's jumping up from the bed, he's like, oh, hey, baby, I'm right here watching you, and she thinks it's cute. She said that he's all about security, so that's why he claims that he has all these cameras watching her. And it just seems like it's really controlling toxic behavior to watch your girlfriend 24-7 like that. It seems like he pretty much has full control of everything she is going on while he's in prison. Tenny doesn't seem to mind. She's like, oh, he's all about security. He just wants to keep me safe. But it's like, what is he going to do if something even happens if he's in prison? What, call 911 from his prison cell phone he's not supposed to have and be like, oh, yeah, I'm in prison. I saw something happen to my girl. And it's not like he can pull up and do anything to protect her. And Rob claims that he is a shot caller in prison. He claims that he pretty much has it made. He gets what he wants in prison. Since he's been there for so long, he claims all the guards know him. And they pretty much just let him do what he wants to do and lets him have a cell phone and break rules as long as he doesn't give the guards a hard time. And Tenny said, looking back, if you would have told her four years ago that she would be married to someone who's in prison, she would have told that person they were crazy. She never saw herself dating an inmate. They've been married for four years, so I wonder if we're going to get to see them have conjugal visits. And Rob was arrested back in June of 2009, and he was charged with robbery with a firearm, concealing stolen property, and conspiracy, and the judge gave him an 18-year sentence. So Rob claims that when he first got locked up, he said he was getting in trouble left and right. He had a hard time following the rules. And he claims once he finally started talking to Tenny again, he changed his way of looking at life and changed his way. He claims that Tenny actually gave him a purpose in life. And Tenny and Rob, they actually dated back in the day when they were younger, but they only dated for a few months and then they ended up losing touch. And then while Rob was in prison, Tenny ended up messaging him on Facebook saying, hey, it's been a while. Happy birthday. He said, damn girl, it's good to hear from you. How's that big old head of yours? And she was like, well, you used to love this big head of mine. And I guess they started talking from there. Tenny was chilling at her house and she decided to have her sister come over. So her sister comes over and she's not even in the house for a couple seconds before you hear Rob pop on the camera saying, what are you doing? Where are you at? Who's that? Who's that? And she's like, Rob, it's my sister. I told you my sister was coming over. And he was like, no, you didn't. And she's like, yeah, I told you multiple times. You just do not listen. And the sister, she thinks that the constant 24-7 monitoring is just a bit much. Tenny ended up catching up with her sister for a few minutes. And then she's like, girl, I got to go visit Rob. I'm going to have to catch up with you later. So she packed her two children in the car to go visit Rob. 
And she has two children from a previous relationship. And she claims that Rob plans to raise them as his own and loves them as his own. I guess we will have to wait and see how he is playing stepdaddy once he gets out. Because being a father through the cameras and through the phone is completely different compared to once you're actually out and you have to raise those children. But they're already married and they've been married for four years. So Tenny packed her children into the car to go visit Rob. And while she's driving, all of a sudden she gets a call from Rob. And Rob was like, hey, baby, I just want to let you know that once you get here, Rob told the producers that he's got some tea that he's been keeping from Tenny for a while now. But every time he gets close to telling her, he chickens out. And he says what he has to tell her, she's going to be really pissed off when she finds out. So I really wonder what it is he's keeping from her. Maybe he got in more trouble and he's going to have more time added on to his sentence. But it's going to be something pretty serious for a man like him to be so scared to tell her. And she's on her way to see him in prison. And I guess we'll see that in the next episode. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to see the visit because a lot of prisons don't allow cameras. But that is it for this video guys. This couple definitely looks like it's going to be an interesting one. Okay, my son just woke up from a nap, so I'm going to go ahead and get off here. But I don't know, most couples, like, when I see them, especially with his controlling behavior, I question if they'd be able to last. I know it's still early on, but the fact that they dated in previous years when they were younger and they're actually married, and they actually make sense together. You know, like, some of these couples... It's obvious, like, okay, she's just looking for a sugar daddy. He's just looking for someone to support her. But they actually look cute together. The constant monitoring is a bit much though and I wonder how his controlling behavior is going to be for her once he does get out and I do question how he's going to be able to adapt once he does get out of prison when it comes to trying to get a legit job since he's been locked up since he was 18 and the man's probably never worked a legit job in his life. But that is it for this video guys. Let me know what you guys think about everything in the comments below. Check out my lashes and cosmetics at coinamber.com. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.